My name is Sunray. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to the, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Hey y'all, what's up? I probably should have put some water up in my hair or something, but y'all finna get these curls just how they are. So I don't even know this. Okay, swift changes are ahead. That's what the video is titled. Prophetic word, okay? I told y'all last night, I was coming with another one. Another one. Another one. DJ Kelly. <laughs> Woo! What's this in my hair? Uh-uh, baby, we not finna do that. Anywho. I got a word to read to y'all. I got some notes, all right? So God said, swift changes are ahead. I'm causing those who were put last to be put first. They will forge a farther, forge, what? They will forge a farther distance in a shorter time according to my divine timing and will. They shall be unstoppable. Everywhere they look, there will be one radical change after the next. They will pray for something and will look up to see it fulfilled. This is their season of suddenlies. I am removing those who thought their own swiftness and strength could carry them. As my word says, time and chance happens to them all. Ecclesiastics 9-11 for those of y'all wondering. As my word says, time and chance happens to them all. There's a divine reversal coming that will echo through the nations. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> I have to do that. I am equipping those who are lowly with new mantles, assignments, and positions. Let them know that they are in a transition and should always stay ready. You gotta stay ready. Oh, okay. Because when their appointed time comes, it shall move swiftly. Can I not birth the nation in an instant? Okay. That's going to be Isaiah 66, right? Continuing on. May their keep, may they keep their quiver full of the weapons I equip them with and their hearts full of my instruction. They must move forward boldly and confidently and know that I am is with them. My angels will keep them from dashing their foot on a stone. They must know this won't be a time to keep silent, but to step forward and assume their new positions. Many of them won't understand why these many changes are happening now, but it is according to my word and the appointed time I set forth. Those was not my words. What are these swift changes? So swift God had me look this up because you always hear people talk about swift like, oh, moving quickly, moving quickly. But really, swift also talks about increase. Swift also talks about transition. And God has been speaking a lot about increasing in this time, like multiplying, okay? And we know that God always says, go be fruitful and multiply. Well, this is a season where a lot of people are branching finally into that fruitfulness. You've been pruned and now you shall bear more fruit. But swift is actually defined as being able, besides quickly and acceleration, being able to go a farther distance in a shorter period of time. So think of it this way. A lot of y'all have been walking to your destiny, but now God is giving you a car to get to your destiny. Think about it. If the Walgreens, I got a Walgreens up the street, right? If I was to walk to Walgreens, I'm a fast walker, but let's just say I walk like a normal person because I got long legs. So if I walk like a normal short person, like regular pace, slow or whatever, it would probably take me like 15 minutes. Let's say 15 minutes, right? But in my car, it'll only take me like two minutes because <laughs> your girl be a <laughs> hey, take K racing down the street. Hey. <laughs> and da, da, da. Okay, that song is stuck in my head now. And hey, in the take K, in the, okay. But anywho, Racing down the street, it's not going to take me that long, okay, to get there. It probably take me like two minutes, okay, speed racer. <laughs> so, what God is saying is, is that this swiftness that he's causing is for you to go a further distance in a shorter period of time, okay? So, that's why he's saying, like, you're not going to understand these changes. For some of you guys, it's going to be... Like where God is taking you from one level spiritually to another level, but it's not just him taking you to level two. I mentioned this in the video. Ironically, he had me rewatch, but I don't remember what it was. He had me rewatching yesterday that I had made and I had said you going from level one to level 10 real quick. I think that was the video I posted when I said that by December 26, you shall see something happen. What video was that? It was the video about my cousin getting her, uh, her apartment finally. Like this all kind of go together, but I can't remember what that word is. So Y'all can figure that out for y'all. So, all right, continuing on. 
So God said, these are like the ways that people are moving. So you're either going to be quickly moving to new states or countries. Like a lot of y'all going to be flying. Okay. Y'all going to be first class up in the sky, popping grape juice, living a life in the swift lane, but I won't. God, that's from the glamorous. Look, that's nothing he was saying. Like a lot of y'all are not, it's not that y'all just flying to new territories or whatever. You're flying into a glamorous life. Okay. God taking a lot of his little Joseph's from the pit to the palace, baby. It's time to clean up because Pharaoh is calling. Ring, 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 ring. Where you at? Hey, come interpret this dream for me. Y'all can see I got a lot of energy. I just be like, God, every time. Why me? Continuing on. Why not you? Okay, God, I get it. Quickly moving into new assignments. So um, the large one, because we also have new assignments. God giving people new assignments. Yes, he's definitely giving people new assignments, like where there will be um, new things that God is calling you for to do. But God's emphasis was, these new assignments are you moving from a state of preparation to the state of being called forth into that thing. So where you may have been prepared to, I don't know, evangelize. Now God, which really shouldn't be that much preparation, but because we should be evangelizing all the time. We talk to people about Jesus. But anywho, for some people it is. Cool. I ain't going to judge your process. Do what you do, sis. Do what you do, bro. So God calls you forward to start doing that thing. Like, no. I need you to actually start doing it now. So that's what God was saying. So um, God was also saying swiftly, there's going to be new ways that God is going to provide for you. So you're moving from the manna and you're moving to the supernatural provision. Like not saying, I said move from the manna to the supernatural. Oh, so manna just fall from the sky. That That's just not supernatural. You're moving, <laughs> you're shifting from one way of being provided for to another. Because when you think about it, they could expect the manna to fall every single day. Supernatural, yes, that was a supernatural miracle empowered by God's hand. But when I speak of supernatural provision, I mean like out of nowhere. They could expect the manna, right? But if y'all remember, I believe it was after they consecrated themselves, like after they... um what them circumcised themselves after they circumcised themselves in a new land with joshua the manna had stopped because god said y'all now can eat the fruit of the land or whatever so a lot of you guys god is transitioning you from eating the food of the wilderness to eating the food of the land so stop eating all them cookies stop eating all them chips i'm talking to myself stop eating all that pizza <laughs> Because <laughs> some of y'all doing it too. God's like, it's time for you to eat the fruit and veggies of the land. And I'm like, God, <laughs> but this pizza, you know, you're shifting. God, your palate is changing. Delicacy. Okay. Caviar. <laughs> no, I would not do that. That's something I'm just mm -mm. giving birth to promises. So the month of Kislev actually starts next week, Friday. The month of Kislev actually starts next week, Friday. It's the ninth month in the spiritual calendar. And it's like the darkest month. And there's all of these other things about the month of Kislev. Actually, okay, God is like, go ahead and talk about Kislev. Because my, my children don't know nothing about the prophetic calendar, babe. Okay, so hold on, y'all. It is the month of dreams. Okay, so there shall be a lot of people having dreams return back to them, right? Um, it's the month of wholeness, right? Um a lot of things come in full circle. So when we speak about things coming full circle, when God is sending you forth and he's moving things swiftly, you're going to have a lot of full circle moments. Like God is going to begin to make sense of things in your life. Okay. Um, obviously that's where Hanukkah is too. Um, the tribe of Benjamin is in this month. It's the month of authority and identity in Christ. Okay. The constellation is the Sagittarius. We're not talking about astrology what is it it's not astrology we're speaking of astronomy there's a difference if you don't know go do your research um the bow and the arrow the tribe of benjamin benjamin was the last of rachel the 12th son okay um his name was gonna be benoni and then they changed his name because she said oh son of my sorrow and joseph was like i mean jacob was like hold up you're not gonna do that to my son we're going to name him Benjamin, the son of my right hand, right? And the funny thing is, they're the son of the right hand, but from, <laughs> but they shoot their arrows, very skilled in war, with their left hand. 
Ain't that crazy? And then the other thing is a lot of popular people in the Bible that y'all know come from the tribe of Benjamin. You got Esther, you got Mordecai, you have King Saul, you have Saul that turned into Paul. Those were the four that when I did research on this months ago that those was, right? Okay, so this is um, also a period when you are in a transitionary period because when God is moving swiftly in your life, you can't be moving too. Like, you have, well, of course, when God moves you, you'll move. But I'm saying like what I was talking about before in my chiropractic, my chiropractic teaching, my teaching on God being your chiropractor, right? Like getting in alignment when you're on that table, getting in alignment and things are being moved and stuff and shifted in place. You're laying there still while the doctor himself is moving things. So this is a position or a season of rest. Like you have to be in a, a posture of rest okay you can't have your mind in too many places at once because god needs your attention you're transitioning the scariest thing is if you move ahead of god you i would rather <laughs> look long story short you do not want to move ahead of god in this particular season and that was one of the blessings that moses had gave um the benjamin tribe was that um it was about rest and tranquility and that the, they are being shielded by um shielded by God. They're the ones that are shielded by God. They're the ones that are resting in t tranquility, although they, they were some little firecrackers. It was a smallest tribe, but that was some little firecrackers. Okay. But that y'all know the history of the tribe of Benjamin. If y'all don't look in Chronicles. All right. So long story short, <laughs> I said all that to say, um, you're in a place of transition right now. God says you got to be ready. Like TTG, Train to go. Come on. Train to go. If you don't know what that means, just ask a black family member or a black friend what TTG mean. And they're going to be like, yeah, I'm trained to go. Train to go mean like somebody about to fight my cousin. My cousin can hit me up and I'm trained to go. Now, I'm not trying to tell y'all to go fight nobody. No, I'm not, not doing that at all. I'm not even a fighter. I'm a lover. Okay. But um, you have to be ready to go. Like, ready. So that means that you have to continue to stay in things of the spirit. That means you have to continue to seek God's voice. That means you have to continue to like stretch. Okay. Stretch, get ready for, get ready to go. Because when God says swift, I am not playing with y'all and he ain't playing with y'all. When God is saying swift, he like, bro, he not like, bro, that's me saying, bro, but bro, you moving fast. Like it's not going to be no, Ooh, Okay. I'm going to sit here. Like, we're not playing chess. We're playing poker. Do they move fast in poker? Whatever game they move fast in. Y'all see, I just don't. But I know they, they are very slow in chess. We're not playing chess. we playing checkers. Yeah. <laughs> Who, if you quick clicked off this video, I'm sorry. But if you stayed on this video, I pray you got the message. It's just like, I, I don't know. I just love me. Don't y'all love me? I love me too. But, um... This is for somebody. What they say? Just go. Just go. When God went ring, 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 ring that up. It's your time to go. Y'all know I'm going to have Jade. Be ready to go. But literally, this is a travel journal. That's so funny. So not only is God like prophesying through my journal, but yeah. So just go. Just go. Like, be trained to go in this season. TTG. Ten toes down. Period. All right. Um. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Lord. I was about to say something really funny, but I think I already said enough jokes today. And God's sitting up there like, Go ahead and hit 